I was from the beginning always interested in the science of movement and how you moved and why you moved like you did. Humans are very impressed with their cortex and we think that uh, our cortex decides and does everything is in control of everything but in fact if you look through evolution you see a lot of animals that were not very impressed with their cortex but they're able to find their food, they mate, they uh, can do everything necessary to survive. At that time, there was the concept was evolving. Uh, the, the circuitry in the spinal cord had the capability to generate stepping patterns without any sensory information or without any information from the brain. Basically, what I've been trying to do is to determine just how much we can take advantage of this automoticity or this control of lower centers that is available. And their one idea is that as humans evolved that we threw away those automatic processes. Uh, and because our cortex became dominant and, and, and replaced some of those systems, most of what we found in the fundamental things which we found with animals, we find the same thing in human subjects. The basic concept that we've developed is that we can change the mood of the spinal circuitry. We can change the physiological properties of the, of the spinal circuitry to get it ready to walk or to stand. That was an idea that many people uh, thought was pretty weird and didn't want to accept, of course. But when something has been believed for so long, when there's concepts that's been around for, for many years, it's very hard to change people's thinking. And so my strategy, I gave up on trying to convince everyone with lectures and going out and, and, it's, and expecting everyone to believe me. Uh, so I basically have taken the approach that some people are paying attention and I will work with those people that are paying attention and uh, we will sh do this by example. And if you show that it will work, the patients will come. The interesting thing is, is over the years, it still is surprising me. It's still looking better than I had predicted. It just keeps getting better, and, and, and that's, that's pretty good. And uh, I would have never anticipated this, but we just we do an experiment to test this automoticity and how much we can get out of it, and it keeps getting better. And so I don't know where it's going to, where it's going to stop. <laughs>